Well, we had a community center here in Highland, Indiana, which was called the Lincoln uh, Center. It was the old Lincoln School, which closed in the early 80s. Uh, Park Department took it over in 1983 and started operating as a community center. The uh, building had been built in the school had been built in three different sections. One section was built in the 1940s, one section in the 50s, and was finally added onto in the 1960s, and had just started to show its age. We're very proud here in the town of Highland to have this. I think we're unique in, in the surrounding Lake County area, certainly, and having something like this. Um, people from all over our county and from across the border come and enjoy you know, the benefit of this Lincoln Community Center. Well, we've always had daycares as part of the Lincoln Center. When the town took over the old Lincoln School, there was a fear that, oh my gosh, we can't possibly fill this whole school up. So we leased out two of the wings in the old school to two separate daycares. When we decided to rebuild the building, we decided that we would keep one of the daycares in the building, so we still have a partnership with uh, Kids First Academy, which is a daycare of about uh, 90 uh, children. We use the banquet room for small motor and for different, we use it for Mother's Day banquet, we use the field house for graduation, especially with our crazy weather and you know our children are supposed to be outside every day and we can't always be outside, but the facilities here enable us to, to still have our ch children have the gross motor and large motor skills that they need to use every day. And we do take advantage of them. The other thing is because of the things that are offered here, some of our children take dance classes, their parents pick them up and take them right over for dance. There's tumble bears here and their parents take them there. So there's a wide variety of things that they get to use that they would have to jump in the car and go someplace else if we were a standalone daycare. We've also found out over the years that they are our future users of all our programs and stuff. When, when parents drop off kids here for daycare, um, they can't help but notice all the other activities that go on in the building. There's youth dance, there's gymnastics, there's all the summer camps, uh, there's all the youth sports leagues that we do. And they can't help but notice those activities going on, plus all the informational flyers that are out for them. And so those people that are initial users of the daycare ended up being our future customers for all of our programs.